let us open our Bible to the book of Psalm 106, 106, Psalm 106. Rebellious man and gracious Yahweh. Rebellious man and gracious Yahweh. Psalm 106, verses 1 to 5. The happiness of God's people. In contrast to Psalm 106, this psalm deals with many of the same events but looks at the actions and reactions of the people. Consequently, it is not nearly as positive. Both psalms open with a command to give thanks to Yahweh. And the first five verses of Psalm 106 recall the faithfulness of Yahweh and the need to respond to his, to, to his mighty acts. None of our sins or sufferings should prevent our ascribing glory and praise to Yahweh. The more unworthy we are, the more is his kindness to be admired. And those who depend on the Redeemer's righteousness will endeavor to copy his example and by word and deed to show forth his praise. Yahweh's people have risen to be cheerful people and do not need to envy the children of men. Their, pre their pleasure or pride. Psalm 105, verses 6 to 12. Israel's sins. Here begins a confession, a confession of sin that continues throughout the psalm. Yahweh remain faithful to his people throughout their history but they repeatedly disobeyed and rebelled the psalmist recalls the red sea experience when the people panicked and wanted to turn back but yahweh miraculously led them through the sea and then drowned the egyptian army behind them in response to Israel to the in, in response the Israelites believed God and praised him but they quickly forgot what he had done for them we must acknowledge that Yahweh has done right and we have done wickedly we are encouraged to hope that though justly corrected, yet we shall not be utterly forgotten, forsaken. Yahweh's afflicted people must find themselves guilty before Him. God is dis God is distrusted because His favors are not remembered. If He did not save us for his own name's sake or to to pray to the praise of his power and grace we would all perish we should all perish psalm 106 verses 13 to 33 their provocations the attitude the attitude of the israelites went from bad to worse, to worse as they moved on into the wilderness. They tested Yahweh and questioned the leadership of Moses and Aaron. When Moses was absent for a few days, they had Aaron create a golden calf. When they finally got to the promised land, they lacked the faith to enter. They rebelled against Yahweh in order to follow the gods of other nations. 
Their grumbling was so persistent and unrelenting that they, they provoked foolish words from Moses that kept him from entering the promised land. In such of those instances, Yahweh responded with a disciplinary action, but to no lasting effect. The people, the people felt sorry for a little while, but in a short matter of time, they reversed to their to their weaning and uh, and uh, and uh, griping. Those who will not wait for God's counsel shall justly be given up to the lust of their own hearts to walk in their own counsels. An undue desire even for lawful things becomes sinful. Yahweh shows his displeasure for this. He filled them with uneasiness of mind, terror of conscience, and self-reproach. Many, many who dare, many, many who fear deliciously every day and whose bodies are healthy, lean in their souls. No love to Yahweh, no thankfulness, no appetite for the bread of life, and then the soul must be lean. Those who feast their bodies and starve their souls wretchedly forget themselves. Even the true believer will see many reasons to say, it is of Yahweh's mercies that I am so consumed. Often, we have set up idols in our hearts, cleaved to some for forbidden object, so that if a greater than Moses had not stood to turn away the anger of Yahweh, we should have been destroyed. If God dealt severely with Moses for unadvised words, what do those deserve who speak many proud and wicked words? It is just in Yahweh to remove some relations that are, that are blessings to us when we are pervish and provoking to them and grieve their spirits. Psalm 106 verses 34 to 40, 46. The rebellions in Canaan. The people finally mustered enough faith to enter the promised land. But soon thereafter, they again began to rebel against, against Yahweh. They did not evict the the inhabitants uh, as Yahweh had instructed them. Instead, they mingled with the Canaanites and soon began to worship their gods, which sometimes included atrocious acts of human sacrifices. In response, Yahweh allowed Israel to be overpowered again and again. But the people would not make a permanent commitment to Yahweh. Each time they cried out, he lovingly forgave them and sent help. But their faith never lasted long. The conduct of the Israelites in Canaan and Yahweh's dealing with them show that the way of sin is downhill. You know, you know when the, the stone is, is, is released from the top of the mountain, 
this sharp, uh, you know, steep mountain, as it starts rolling, it its speed keeps increasing and increasing and increasing. So omissions make way for commissions. When they neglected to destroy the hidden, they learn the hidden's works. One sin led to many more and brought the judgments of God on them. Their sin was in part their own punishment. Sinners often see themselves ruined by those who led them into evil. Satan, who is a tempter, will be the tormentor. Remember, Satan, who is your temper, your tempter, if you fall into his temptation, he will be your tormentor, your tormentor. At length, Yahweh showed pity to his people for his covenant's sake. The unchangeableness of God's merciful nature and love to his people makes him change the course of justice into mercy. And no other change is meant by God's repentance. Our case is awful when the outward church is considered, when nations professing Christianity are so guilty as we are. No wonder if Yahweh brings them low for their sins. Unless there is general and deep repentance, there can be no prospect but of increasing calamities. Psalm 105 verses 47 and 48. Prayer for more complete deliverance. Apparently, Israel has found itself in a similar situation in the present time because the psalmist asks Yahweh to gather us, I quote, gather us from among the hidden and the good. After the people saw these, we, we, after the people saw their temple, their temple and the city of Jerusalem destroyed, Israel's exile in Babylon was certainly pitiable. The psalm concludes with prayer for completing the deliverance of God's people and praise for the beginning of pro of, of, of progress in uh, of pro the beginning of progress of it the beginning and progress of it may all the people of the earth hear long add their amen know this and the lord yahweh will bless you amen let us take these prayer points praise yahweh Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love endures forever. In the name of Yeshua, we praise you, Father Yahweh. I proclaim the mighty acts of Yahweh and fully declare His praise. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we praise you, Father. Blessed are those who act justly, who always do what is right. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, I pray. Remember me, Lord Yahweh, when you show people to you, when you show favor, favor to your people. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, I pray. Yahweh Magan, come to my aid when you save them, that I may enjoy the prosperity of your chosen ones. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, I pray. Remember me, Lord Yahweh, that I may share in the joy of your nation and join your inheritance in giving praise. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, I pray. I have sinned, even as my ancestors did. I have done wrong and acted wickedly. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, I pray for forgiveness. 
when my ancestors were in the land of affliction, they gave no thought to your miracles in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Pray. They did not remember your many kindnesses and they rebelled even by, by the place of your miracles in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Pray. Yet, Father Yahweh, you saved them for your name's sake to make your mighty power known in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. We praise you, Father. You saved them from the hand of, of the foe, from the hand of the enemy. You redeemed them in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Yet they worshipped idols with which became as near to them in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. We praise you. They sacrifice humans to false gods in the name of Yeshua the Messiah, Father Yahweh. You, Father Yahweh, we thank you for your kindness. They shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters. They sacrifice to the idols in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. We thank you for your kindness, Lord Yahweh. They brought their land to be desecrated by the innocent blood they shed in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. We praise you, we thank you for your forgiveness, Father Yahweh. They defiled themselves by what they did. By their deeds, they prostituted themselves in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. We pray, Father Yahweh, for for your long suffering. Therefore, Lord Yahweh, you were angry with your people. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, we praise you. You gave them into the hands of the nations, and their foes ruled over them. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, we praise you, Father Yahweh. Their enemy oppressed them and subjected them to their power. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, we praise your holy name, Father Yahweh. Many times, Father Yahweh, you delivered them. But they were bent on rebellion and they wasted away in their sins. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray for them. Yet, Lord Yahweh, you took note of their distress when you heard their cry. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, we thank you, Father Yahweh, for their sake you remembered your covenant and out of your great love you relented. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, we thank you, Father Yahweh. Lord Yahweh, you caused all who held them captive to show them undeserved mercy. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, we thank you, Father. Save us, Yahweh our God and gather us from the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise and glory in your praise in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we pray praise be to Yahweh the God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you let all the people say Amen praise Yahweh Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of teaching, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, of spiritual growth, of spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for, for, for your forgiveness. Thank you, Father Lord, for your answers to 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 our con to, 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 to thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our confession, that you heard our prayers of repentance, and after you heard, you took away our dirty garment of sin and iniquity, and you dressed it with a brand new garment, a garment cleaner than anything else, even the garment of your own spirit. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our cries, our supplications, our requests, our prayers. 
Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your endless, endless love to us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you, Yahweh, for your forgiveness. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. Lord Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers this morning. Lord Almighty, each and every one of us, we come before your throne of peace and we stand in faith to renew our commitment before you that for the records of our land we will, always, we will always stand by your word, we will always be fed by your word, we will always we will always uh, stay in togetherness, in unity, in your word, one heart, one soul and therefore from your church. We will always use your word, your word which is power, might, spirit, life, breath of life, living water to heal the sick, to cleanse people from leprosy, to resurrect the dead to cast out impure spirit, to chase out demons, and to set the captives free, and therefore serve you in your vineyard. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that uh, you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your, uh, that, that, for your word the, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Now let us pray the prayer. Our good Lord Yeshua the Messiah left us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and leave us not into temptation, but deliver us of evil for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Yeah, we thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, for the Messiah, we pray. Now, with the waving of our hands to our loving Father Yahweh, let us shout seven joyful hallelujah, seven victorious hallelujah, seven thanksgiving hallelujah to our good Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Alléluia, 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 Alléluia. May Father Yahweh bless each and every one on this worship place, on this prayer land. May Father Yahweh bless us as we go out. May He bless us as we come in. May Father Yahweh make it permanent His answers to your prayers. May Father Yahweh lay his right hand upon us. May he dress us with his blood, cloud of glory, and may he surround us with his edge of fire. May Father Yahweh settle us on our promised land, the land that flows with spiritual and material milk and honey, the most beautiful of lands. May he settle us with good health, happiness, prosperity, success, and eternal life. Let us go in peace. May the peace of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah be with us all. Amen. Hallelujah.